G'day ET, it's Kerry again here from Pacific Tide Alexis Cans. So what I'm going to do for you today ET is do a high definition virtual tour of our 2022 Tider Land Cruiser 300 series in a Sahara and black in colour done 1000 k's. So what I'm going to let you know basically just goes through the interior exterior of the motor vehicle, also through the wheel arches, tyres and rims and the most important thing also goes through the features of the vehicle as well too. After I finish doing that, I'll go through the engine bay and go through and show you a little bit more about the engine bay and then go from there. So let's just tell you that we're actually one or two pre-owned dealerships here. We're actually standing at the moment at 77 Mulgrave Road. So I'm actually not too sure if you've been in Cairns itself, ET, but we're actually based on 77 Mulgrave. We're about 1.5 kilometers away from the city of Cairns. Beautiful place, heart of Cairns itself. Our second pre-owned yard is actually at 235 Mulgrave Road and that's actually about two and a half kilometres down on the left hand side there as well. Next to that is our franchise dealership Toyota and Lexus as well, service and parts department. Just behind that as well too is our opposite lock four drive place um, that I'm going to get a, uh, a quote on some electric brakes as well too that you're asking about. And Pacific Hino does all our pre-inspections on our vehicles, as in Coral Motors. So we hold up to about 160 cars in stock at all times, and we do about 200 to 250 cars a month. So as you can see in the background there, ET is actually that grey building, is a two showroom floor for us. So what I'm gonna do right now, let's get straight back into the video and tell you a little bit more about this uh, Toyota Land Cruiser Sahara. So firstly, let's go straight to the bonnet first, and I'll lift that up. Just to give you a look underneath how clean and tidy that is, it's practically like brand new. But I definitely have to go through and show you everything about that as well too. So it's very clean, very tidy. Just having a look up at the underneath the hood as well too. Like it's never done any off-road. Fantastic. Okay, closing the bonnet. Just going to go down onto the front bar and just give them a look at the front bar itself. You can see that it's got the fitted out with the fog lights underneath there. Also, it's got the Parker sensors as well too, as you can see there, ET, across the bottom bar. Just before I go any further, you've got your front camera on it as well. And then you've got your front sensors on your passenger side as well too. So I'm just going to go up into the bonnet and just give you a little bit more better view on the bonnet itself. Just checking the uh, paint on there, just make sure there's no perfections in the paint itself. It's got that nice glimpse, it definitely has got that nice shine like a new car. Up onto the uh, windscreen, just make sure there are no chips or cracks in the windscreen itself. And I'm just going to stand back here a little bit here and just giving you a look down the uh, passenger side here as well too, ET. Fantastic. Just going to go down to the uh, rear of the vehicle. Just going to go up to the top of the half of the vehicle itself. You've got your chrome mirrors just underneath that there as well too. It's got your little camera underneath there. Go across the top part. And then just give you a look back from the rear part as well too. Just on that angle. Fantastic. Okay, looking down the bottom part now. Just go around the bottom onto the kickboards. And then back through the wheel arch and showing you tyres and rims as well too. Around the wheel arch. Fantastic. Checking the tyres. Like I said, it's got plenty of tread on the tyres. No gutter rash on those rims. All right, I'm just going to open up the uh, passenger side door now. Just checking the trim on the side. You can see it's got that nice, good effect with the leather, with the white stitching, grey stitching through it with the wood grain effect. Also got your pockets in there. Down onto the kick panel, got your nice emblem with your um, chrome and then got your floor mats as well, factory. Up onto the dash where you've got your glove box. Across the top of the dash, through your audio system, and then basically up through the driver's side seat. Giving you a look at that as well too. And then back through the passenger side seat. So it's got your, also got your electric seats as well too, on your passenger side. Open up the passenger rear door. Just checking the trim. Checking the trim on that as well too. Got your JBL sound system as well through the car. So that's a beautiful sound. And I've got your wood grain effect down onto your kick panel, up onto your back of your seats. It's got your, you got your nine inch or 11 inch um, DVD players on the back of it as well too. Fantastic. 
in through to the middle row seats and then I'm just gonna fold that down a bit and just giving you a look inside here as well too just showing you the back seats as well but I'll show you that how that works as well and and then all right so I'm just gonna fold that back up in the middle row center console part as well too so it's got your air conditioning seats in the rear heated seats as well too and all your dual climb control and just below that you've got all your usb points so if you were charging up your hdmi cord and your 12 volt as well too fantastic all right i'm just going to close the door there just having a look at the rear part now just having a look underneath how clean and tidy that is checking the tires like I said, plenty of tread on the tires itself, the rims. Having a look at the rear bar. So on the rear bar here now, ET is just at your rear sensors on your rear bar. And you're asking about the tow bar. So we've got the tow bar on the back as well too, with a flat square plug, what you asked for. Fantastic. So, all right, the most important thing that I like about this feature of the car is the rear electric tailgate. Having that up, that is amazing okay so get the camera to come through here and just check in the kickboard just make sure there's no markings on it but i also want to check out and showing you how the rear seats fold down into here as well so there's this button over here with your electrics so just by changing that button pressing it down and giving you the, a bit of a demonstration how those seats fold into the floor So there's one going down and then I'll get the second one coming down as well too. You got controlling as well too, so if someone was actually in the front, you've got your controls in the front as well too. Also up above that you've got your USB points as well, so if you've got your accessories in the back and then just in your air conditioning as well, so you've got your own air conditioning controlling as well too. So. All right, I'll close up the rear tailgate door just by pressing the button. Fantastic. Okay, having a look down the driver's side now here, ET, just going to go down to the front of the vehicle right now and then go through the wheel arches and then I'm going to go up on the roof of the vehicle as well too. All right, looks amazing. That's in great, great condition. There's no scratch whatsoever on it. Just gonna go through the wheel arch here now on the uh, driver's side, making the camera go around that side, checking the tires. Like I said, got plenty of tread on the tires, checking the rims, onto the kickboard as well too. Back through the rear wheel arch here now. Fantastic, checking the tires and also checking the rims as well. So I'm just gonna step up here on the kickboard and checking the uh, roof as well. So it is actually fitted out with a sunroof, but going up the top there, it's amazing. Okay, just open up the driver's side passenger rear and checking the uh, panels out as well too, just to make sure that there is no marking, but you've got the leather stitching through there also you got your wood drain effect your JBL sound system with your tweeters down on your kick panel up onto your back of your seat like I said it's got your 11 inch screens for your DVD also back through the middle row seats and like I said to you before I'll just push the camera here and it also has the panels there for you for the rear seats as well too fantastic okay I'm just going to go through the driver's side now and just giving you a look inside the driver's side. So this is the most important. With 1,000 k's, you think there is nothing wrong with the vehicle at all. Checking the trims. Also up onto your panels as well. Got your power mirrors, folding mirrors, central locking. Also your electric windows and your settings. So you've got three people if you want driving the car. You've got three different settings as well too. Also in your mirrors, it's got your blind spots in your mirrors as well too on both sides of the vehicle. And just having a look down this panel before I jump in, you've got your electric tailgate, your automatic headlights, 
Also, if you have a flat tire, you can also press your blinkers as well too, just to make sure there is no one is gonna crash into you. Your traction control button, and also if you had a fuel card or your cards that you can put in there as well too. All right, just about to jump inside the vehicle right now. ET, just putting the camera on a display here. Just gonna go press the start button. Nice. Got that really nice display to it. All right. Fantastic. So as you can see there with the display, 1,260 on the clock. The odometer reading. Just before I go away from the steering wheel, I also want to make sure I go around the steering wheel itself because that's the most important thing, just to make sure there's no bad perfections on that side. Fantastic. You can see you've got the wood grain factor through and with the leather steering wheel as well. You've got your volume controls and your voice recognition. Also, just changing all your mode system with your Bluetooth. On the right side of your steering wheel, you've also got your cruise control with your adaptable radar cruise control and also your lane departure as well mode system so okay having a look over here behind the steering wheel as well too you've got your electronic steering so adjusting your steering in and out up and down depending on how you want it to set out there et and just below that there as well if i get the camera focus in you've got your view for your cameras and also your um, a trip meter as well too that's in there have a look at your audio sound system. It looks like a big iPad on it, but it's amazing. It shows you underneath the, the bonus, your wheels and stuff. Also shows you your air conditioning unit. Also splits your screen into your sat navigation system. And then you've got your radio station on one side of the vehicle. Having a look at your air conditionings. Also, like I said, you've got air conditionings in your seats, heated seats itself. Same with the steering. The steering's are heated as well too. Having a look over on your passenger side, exactly the same. And with the air conditioning, it's just got your dual climate control with the air conditioning uh, speed controlling in the middle. Just below that, still got your CD play. So if you have CDs as well too, you can still play your CDs. This little button here is your drive mode button. So you can go from eco mode to, to changing your mode to normal mode to sports mode as well too. All that parts are basically all off your four-wheel drive. So you're crawling through uh, four-wheel drive place. You can adjust it here from your low four-wheel drive to your high four-wheel drive, and then changing your locking diffing as well too. Beside your gear stick, you have got your phone charger. So Wi-Fi train charger as well too. And then you've got your center consoles with your wood grain effect that's actually through the, the vehicle as well. So if I press this button here, this will actually open it up. And then you also you've got your cooler box. So pressing that button there is you've got your cooler box. How awesome is that? So if you've got your nice cold drinks, you can put that down there as well too and keep them nice and icy and cold if you are traveling there as well too. The most important thing I don't want to forget about is actually your owner's manual. So it's got your owner's manuals and your log books there. As I said to you before, um, it's only done its first thousand K service that we would have done there for you and just checking that out. 1,083 on the clock and that was done on the 15th of the 6th, 23. So you're talking probably about uh, a week ago, last week. You've got your sunroof above you as well too. That'll open that up for you. And just to give you a look there as well too, ET. But to make it work, like I said, I can actually open it all up for you if you want me to. And just giving you a bit of a demonstration and then closing it back up as well too. So if you don't want it open, you can always close it. But if you like it, the sports mode, you can flip it up and just have it up in sports mode as well. If you don't like it, have it down and just close the hood as well too. Okay, that is actually coming to the end of the video there. ET, thank you very much for your inquiry. I would like to say congratulations on your purchase. If there is anything else that you would like me to go through the vehicle, please do not hesitate to give me a call. But a big congratulations from us from Pacific Toyota ET. And we'll make sure if there's anything else we can do for you, give me a call. Thank you.